Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. So this is 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Amaziah. I'm Soldier Nathaniel. Today's topic, brothers and sisters, we're going to go into a, a deep Christian topic that gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. The name of the topic, we are all one in Christ Jesus. Ah, feels so good, don't it? Gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. So we're going to go into the scriptures and we're going to break it down. 15 Minutes, Galatians 3.26, let's go. Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So Chris is using to say all you got to do is just have faith in Christ and you're a child of God. You 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 are in Christ if you have faith. No matter what nation you're from, no matter what you've been what what you're going through, no matter what sin you're in, you're all children of God because of faith in Jesus. Let's jump up to 22. Let's find out who this is talking about. Let's go. Verse 22. But the scripture hath concluded. But the scripture hath concluded. All under sin. All under sin. The scripture hath concluded all under sin. Is that talking about everybody on the planet Earth? Let's find out. Daniel 9 and 11. Let's go there. Let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Let's see what it says. Let's dive into this Bible. Daniel, Let's go. chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Wait a minute. The Bible says all Israel, A-L-L. -L. That's the same all in Galatians 3.22. It says all under sin. The scripture have concluded all are under sin. Read that, read that again. Yea, all, Israel have, all Israel have transgressed thy law. All Israel have transgressed. All Israel got the law and they broke the law. Go ahead. Even by departing. Read. That they might not obey thy voice. Read. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. We lost our land, our language, our culture, our heritage. We were called Galatians, Corinthians, Ephesians. We were spread out in those lands all throughout the earth. Read. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. Read. The servant of God. Read. Because we have sinned against him. Now go back to Galatians 3.22. Now we got a little bit of understanding. Galatians 3.22 one more time. Galatians chapter 3, verse 22. But the scripture, but the scripture in Daniel 9, 11, But the scripture hath concluded all under sin. All Israel broke God's laws. Read. That the promise by faith. That the promise by faith. What is that promise? What is it? Luke 171. Let's go get to the promise now. Now we're going to get into the promise. That the promise by faith of Jesus Christ. That's what Galatians 3.22 just said. What promise? Let's go. Luke chapter 1, verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. The Bible says we're supposed to be saved. That's how we, that's what salvation is, being saved from your enemies. Well, I'll put it like this. That's part of your salvation. Go ahead. And from the hand of all that hate us. Read. To perform the mercy promised. Uh-oh. To do what? 
to perform the mercy promised. So mercy, grace is promised unto the children of Israel who broke God's laws, who transgressed. Go ahead. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers. Read. And to remember his holy covenant. He got to, Most High God has to remember that covenant. Go ahead. The oath. The what? The oath. Read. Which he swore to our father Abraham. Read. That he would grant unto us uh -huh. that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemy, Read. might serve him without fear. Go back now. No, no, don't go back. Go to Hebrews 9.15. Let's get a little more about that promise. So one of the promises is that we're going to get mercy granted unto us. Go ahead. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. Read. And for this cause, uh -huh. he is the meditator. Mediator. Excuse me. Mediator. Of the New Testament. Who is this talking about? Jesus the Christ. He's the mediator of the New Testament, the New Covenant. Read. That by means of death. By means of his blood being shed. For the redemption. For the redeeming. Of the transgressions. Of the sins. That were under the First Testament. Wait a minute. Who was under the First Testament? Who was under the First Covenant, brothers and sisters? All Israel. That's who was under that covenant right there. Keep going. They which are called, who's called Israel, might receive the promise. Ah, oh, there go that word promise again of what? Of eternal inheritance. Eternal inheritance. Go back. Go back. Galatians 3.22. One more time now. Galatians chapter 3 verse 22. Now we should have a little bit of understanding. Let's go. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin. Read. That the promise by faith of Jesus Christ. By faith. Let's get the faith now. Acts 15 and 8. The faith. Hmm. We're going to read Acts 15, 8 through 9. Acts chapter 15, verse 8. Read. And God, which knoweth the hearts. This is Peter speaking. Go ahead. Bear them witness. Uh-huh. Giving them the Holy Ghost. Giving them the Holy Ghost. Even as he did unto us. Oh, he's speaking of northern kingdom. So he's saying they gave these northern kingdom gentiles the holy ghost as he gave it to southern kingdom us go ahead and put no difference and put no difference between us and them there's no difference between the northern kingdom southern kingdom jew and gentile jew and greek go ahead purifying their hearts by faith purifying their hearts by faith faith in what jesus the christ go back go back galatians 323 now Galatians chapter 3, verse 23. But before faith came, before Jesus the Christ came, we, we, were, were the Israelites, we were kept under the law. The Bible says we were kept under the law. Who was the we? Let's find out. Psalms 147, verse 19. We were kept under the law. Who could that be? Let's go. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. So the Bible says God showed his word unto Jacob. The understanding of the Bible unto Jacob. That's the word. Read. His statutes. His laws. And his judgments. And the penalties for breaking those laws. Unto Israel. Unto who? Israel. This is unto the Israelites, brothers and sisters. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. Wait a minute. The Bible just said... God never gave Edomites the law, Philippine, Philistines the law, Ham the law, Elam, Ishmael. They never got God's laws. So how in the hell can you transgress something that you wasn't under? Read it again from the top. Verse 19. From 20? 19. Verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. He ain't gave these laws and the judgment for breaking those laws unto any other nations. No other nation went into slavery on slave ships for breaking God's laws but the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. And as for his judgments, uh -huh. they have not known them. They don't know the judgments of God because they wasn't under, the, under the, the, the law of God. Read. Praise ye the Lord. Ah, David said praise God for that thing right there. Go back. Galatians 3.23 one more time. Galatians 3, 23. But before faith came. Before faith came. We. Stop. We is the Israelites. We were kept 
under the law. Hebrews 10 and 1. What law was the Israelites kept under? What law are we speaking of here? Let's find out. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1. For the law. For the law. Notice, notice it doesn't say laws. It's not talking about thou shalt not kill, don't steal, don't commit adultery. It's not talking about that. It's talking about a specific law. Read. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. See that? So that whatever law is being spoken of is only for a time. It's just a shadow until the good things to come. Read. And not, and not the very image of the things. Read. Can never, can never, with those sacrifices. With what? Those sacrifices. No, is thou shalt not kill. Sacrifices. Thou shalt not steal. Sacrifices. So we're talking about the law of sacrifice, brothers and sisters. Read. Which they offered year by year. We offered these sacrifices year by year for the sins we committed. Continually. Uh-huh. Make the corners. Comers. Comers there unto perfect. Law of sacrifice could not make us perfect. That's why it was a shadow of good things to come. Go back to Galatians now. 3.24 now. Galatians chapter 3, verse 24. Notice, so we read Galatians 3.22. That's talking about Israel. Galatians 3.23, that's still talking about Israel. Now I read verse 24. Verse 24. Wherefore the law. The law. What law? The law of sacrifice was our. Oh, was our. Who's the our? Israel, brothers and sisters. Notice in verse 22, it said, uh, all under sin, that the promise by faith must be given to them that believe. 23 says, but before faith came, we were kept under, under law. So now verse 24, it says, our. Notice that. Very possessive, brothers and sisters. Read it again, 24. Wherefore the law. The law of sacrifice. Was our schoolmaster. Was our the Israelite schoolmaster to do what? To bring us unto Christ. Hebrews 9 and 8. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 8. Uh-huh. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. This signifying uh -huh. that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest. Was not yet made manifest. Go ahead. While as the first tabernacle. Was yet standing. When the first tabernacle was standing, what was still going on? Sacrifice. So in order to establish Christ, what had to be gone? Sacrifice. Read it again. The Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all uh -huh. was not yet made manifest. Was it made manifest? While as the first tabernacle was yet standing. Read on. Which was a figure. Which was a figure. Like in Hebrews 10 and 1, we read it was a shadow of things to come. Now it says it was a figure. Which was a figure for the time then present. For that time period, that's what it was. Read. And which were offered both gifts and sacrifices. Sacrifices. There you go, that word. Read. That could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience. Read on. Which stood only in meats and drinks and diverse washings uh -huh. and carnal ordinances. All types of ordinances. Now, here's the point. Imposed on them. This was imposed on them. Who's the them? The children of Israel. We were under the laws of sacrifice. Read. Imposed on them uh -huh. until the time of reformation. For the time of Christ to come. Go back to Galatians now. Paul's saying the same thing, just different ways. Galatians 3.24 3, 3, again. Galatians chapter 3, verse 24. Wherefore the law uh -huh. was our schoolmaster, our schoolmaster to bring us unto the Christ. The sacrifice was uh, our schoolmaster. It was in place for a time. We atone for our sins that way. Now when Christ has come, we don't have to sacrifice animals no more. That's not our atonement. Now we repent in the faith of Christ. Read. That we, that we, the Israelites, might be justified by faith. Acts 13, 38. Let's go to the book of Acts now. 13, 38. We might be justified by faith. Hmm. Let's see what that means. Acts chapter 13, verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren. Read. That through this man. Through this man. Who's this man? Jesus the Christ. Read. Through this man is uh -huh. preached unto you 
the forgiveness of sins. Unto you, Christ has preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Read. And by him, by Christ, all that believe are justified. Are what? Are justified uh -huh. from all things. Uh, we are justified by faith in Christ. Read. From which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. We could not be justified by the law of of Moses, which includes animal sacrifice, brothers and sisters. Go back. Go back. Now, Galatians 3, one more again. Galatians, now we're getting some understanding here. Galatians 3, chap chapter 3, again. verse 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. Our schoolmaster, possessive again, Israel. To bring us. To bring us, the Israelites. Unto Christ. Read. That we. That we, the Israelites. Might be justified. By faith. That we may be justified by Christ. Read on. But after that faith is come. Now after that Christ has come. We. We, the Israelites. Are no longer under a schoolmaster. We, we ain't under the law of sacrifice no more. Now that Christ has come, the law of sacrifice is out the door. Hebrews 10 and 9. Let's go there. Let's go there. This is 15 minutes with the captain. We making this quick. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 9. Let's go. Then he say. Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Read. He taketh away the first. He taketh away the first covenant. That he may establish the second. That he may establish the faith in Christ, the new covenant, the new testament, which is faith in Christ. Christ dying on the cross for the children of Israel. Read. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Who's the all? The children of Israel, because all are concluded under sin. We read that in Galatians 3.22, right? Read. And every priest standeth daily, ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices. The same sacrifices, which what? Which can never take away sins. Which can never take away sins. Go back to Galatians 3. 20, 20 uh, where we at now? 25. Read 25 again. Galatians 3 and 25. But after that, faith has come. Uh -huh. We are no longer under a schoolmaster. We are no longer, after Christ has come, we are no longer under the law of sacrifice, brothers and sisters. For ye. For ye. Has the topic changed yet? Has the subject changed to everybody on the planet Earth? No. It has not changed. The ye is still the same we, the same our, the same us in verses 24, 23. It's the same, the same topic. This topic has not changed. The subject matter and the people that's being spoken of have not changed yet to include everybody. So now when we get to verse 26, what does it say? For ye. For you Israelites, whether you call yourself Galatian, uh, um, uh, Gentile, Jew, Greek, whatever. For ye. Are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So I, this is 15 minutes with the captains, brothers and sisters. And, that, and I hope you learned something. Most high Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.